We're back with more Phoenix Point. Um, I'm recording the second episode already straight away after the first episode was done. So I haven't seen your comments yet on the first episode, but um, I'm looking forward to reading them. I can't wait for any hints and tips you guys leave there. So hence, anything good you left there, I can't apply yet because I haven't seen it yet. So um, where, where are we at? Where are we at? We are at our base. We're healing up. I think our guys are ready. Our personnel is ready to go. Fishbed, Darren, Yar, and Michael. They're from our patron list. Uh, so we're going to add more from the patron list as we hire more soldiers which we hopefully get very soon now we have a main objective here which is connected to the main mission i believe there is kind of a main storyline i suppose and this is symes's retreat which we unlocked in the last episode so we're not going to do this right now we're going to check out more of those unexplored sites and see what we can find maybe we get some more uh, resources that would be really good Oh, what is this? The fire was in Haranu. At the Disciples of Anu, Haven of Haranu, a mutated worm infestation is causing serious problems. The locals had placed their hopes in Taxiak Nergal, the Disciples' greatest military hero, but Nergal is said to be fighting a series of pitched battles against the Pandorans and has been unable to help. We could eradicate the infestation ourselves, helping the Haven creating a good first impression with this faction. Now again... These faction battles, I don't know how tough they are yet, all of them, but the ones I played already in the stream on a much lighter difficulty, I think they're going to be pretty tough. So we're not just going to storm into them right now. So we can see the statistics here. Now, of course, that opened up the disciples of our new research. So we have eight hours left and 13 hours on the Synedrians and then we're gonna research the Oniric Delirium Index. Um, which, what is that about? We could develop an Oniric Delirium Index, an ODI concept proposed by Randolph Symes III into a system for tracking the unusual mental phenomena caused by the Pandoran presence. Oh, this is where all the people went crazy and walked into the sea or something like that. So let's go to, before we go to the new ones, let's go to these guys here that are a little bit more on the outer edge. Let's explore that. Let's see what we can find. I'm really hoping for more scavenging missions. Ooh. Oh, okay, what do we have? Sabotage. Kuara. At Kuara, the entire haven is busy with the construction of new fortifications. Our operatives are asked to stay away as apparently they are suspected of being saboteurs. We could offer assistance. Actually, we can't offer them assistance. They told us to stay away. Okay, I'm a bit lost. Why do we have the option to sabotage the fortification? Wish them well. At Karua, the entire haven is busy with the construction of new fortifications. Our operatives are asked to stay away, as apparently they are suspected of being saboteurs. Okay, let's stay out of it for now. Wish them well. The... Skew Phalax shrugs and gets back to work. Despite a fancy title, she's an engineer at heart. Haven's leader's attitude to Phoenix Project plus five. The Haven factory zone has suffered 250 damage. Okay, so this is... They're building a facility here, food production. What do we have here? Okay. So I'm a little bit lost as to what's going on here. So it says that they're saboteurs, potentially. Okay. So and it's very interesting that you have between different zones, you have uh, potentially differences between different havens, even though they are from the same faction. That is interesting. Okay, let's head over here. Oh, excellent. Haven recruitment protocols. Beautiful. We have created a set biometric psych eval test in order to identify potential recruits. We need to locate havens with leaders favorable to our cause and barter any resources they want in order to secure our recruitment choices. It will probably be cheaper and easier for us to get the recruits from havens with higher populations. Okay, that makes sense. We can now recruit soldiers from havens. So if we look at the map, we can see at some of the havens, none of the ones we actually currently have uncovered, uh, can have little mannequins beside it. So if you look at the Haven info, you will see then an icon that says, hey, you know, you can recruit someone here. Right now, we haven't found such a place yet. Let's continue over here and explore. Maybe we find one now. Scan complete. Oh, what is this? Oh, there is a dude. Excellent. And there's like a ship? That is insane. Okay, so let's have a look and check out what we have here. For 390 food, Mili Rai Fires Yini is an assault. 
soldier. So they have a training center. That's I. Okay, so a haven has to have a training center for us to potentially be able to recruit someone. Now, we don't have the resources, but that's actually quite cheap. And our food production is nearly done. And our research into Synadrians are nearly done as well. Is there anything new we have here? Mindfrager Haven trade protocols. Some trade between havens occurs. Okay, we actually should do that as soon as we have discovered the Anus. And then we're going to get into some autopsies, I think. Okay, so let's... Um, I think our area scan is complete. We should probably make an area scan up here. Oh, my balls. Look at this. There's a lot more going on up there. So let's check out these guys. Okay. Um, should we do an area scan down here? I think we should do an area scan up there, to be honest. Close to the mist and see what we uncover there. I think that would benefit us probably more. Maybe right here? That would probably be good. So let's explore. Okay, our research. Excellent. Now we got 150 tech, which is exactly what I needed, what I was looking for, because when we hire someone now, that is what we can do. We can pre-craft all the gear, all the weapons that we need. Sinedrians is an amalgamation of sev several political movements with roots in social ecology, anarchy or anarcho syndalism and similar belief systems built on a strong opposition to hierarchies. A Sinedrian is egalitarian and radically democratic with decisions being made via public assembly. Despite this, certain more prominent individuals do exist and two streams of thought have begun to crystallize. The polyphonic tendency who believe that the origin of humanity's dysfunctional relationship with the environment lies in hierarchies of dominance and the terraformers who believe in putting humans first and are less opposed to the idea of leadership. The current official goal of Sinedrian is finding a way to coexist with the new ecosystem, but that goal has been challenged from within. So these guys kind of like to stay impartial to everything and just get along with everybody which I suppose comes along with its own problems. Sinedrian was built on a dream a world without hierarchies without leaders where human beings could embrace the potential of technology without its destructive side effects the radicals of the old world had been proven right the status quo could not sustain itself but what now what was the next step some argued for coexistence with the Pandoran ecosystem, hoping for a peaceful solution. Others advocated putting humanity before nature and claiming the planet for themselves. Trusting in the safety of their havens, the people of Sanhedrin argued about the best way forward. But the Pandora virus had little interest in their arguments. Yep. And its power was still growing. That's how it goes, isn't it? You can have all the best intentions and like to stay neutral as much as you want, but if the other parties don't want to stay neutral, you're kind of at a loss there. So let's complete the exploration and um, let's see what we're researching in the moment. Oh, Echoes of the Fall. Exploration site. Nice. Our operatives, our operatives have discovered an abandoned Phoenix Project facility. The facility was part of the Phoenix Project's short-lived astronautics program, which ended with the disastrous Phoenix 2 mission to the moon. That's what we saw earlier on in the introduction video in the last episode. The site was converted into a storage bunker in 1992 and appears to have remained untouched since some point in the early 2000s. Nice, no touchies. Let's search the site. Oh, yes, look at that. If available resources, all available resources have been recovered despite its history, this place really is little more than a warehouse now. Materials 190, tech 110, food 170. That is awesome. That was really, really good. Look at that. We nearly have a thousand materials and we have now 400 food. Does that mean, what was the price again of the guy over here that we can hire? Oh, no, 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 no. Hang on a second. I didn't want to do that. 390 we can actually recruit him now if we get another assault guy i would like to have if we can have six soldiers i don't know what the perfect setup is but i definitely like another sniper if i want two heavies or one heavy and three assault and two snipers i'm not really sure yet i do like my assault rifle guys and but their perception is not the best so their accuracy is not very good. So I think giving all of them a Banshee helmet would potentially help. But actually, it reminds me, now we have 280 tech. So we can queue up in the manufacturer and actually a Banshee helmet. I think we should do that. Let's queue up one. That will take 19 hours to craft, which is amazing. And 
this actually, yeah, you see that here, the, the heavy helmet, if we can replace the heavy helmet with a Banshee helmet, our Odin helmet here gives us no penalty. So I would say if we craft for only loss of six armor, gaining 10% accuracy and three stealth and five perception. Okay, I think we should give all of them Banshee helmets. I think so. Let's craft one for our uh, heavy and another two for, it says here it's for the sniper, but I think we can put that helmet onto anybody. Let's try it out. I mean, once this is done, we can see, and then we can cancel these if it's not the case. So absolutely. And um, let's see, um, I think, I'm not sure yet if I want to get the assault. I think I definitely want another sniper. So we might actually wait for another sniper first. Now let's see, our food under construction is nearly finished, 13 hours, and then we can worry about spending food. Until then, we're not gonna do any touches on the food resources. So if we're gonna do more episodes going forward, I, um, want to make sure that we always get a mission in so what i saw other people do is that they finish an episode when a another mission is about to start so that way they always have a mission at the at least in the video which is great because right now i can't guarantee when we're gonna get a mission but we're gonna have one in this video absolutely so let's explore and see what we have here okay the bridge is also an exploration site our operatives have sat down on a bridge in the middle of nowhere it looks like a group of people tried to start up a haven here, building out from underneath the bridge, but the construction has been left unfinished. Either these people were killed or they decided to move on. Well, let's search the site. There's not much left, but something's better than nothing. Oh, 40 materials and 60 food. Absolutely, that is amazing. That is a really good find. Let's just go over here and let's move in. Excellent. Oniric, Oniric Delirium Index. An Oniric Delirium Index, or the ODI, algorithm has been developed. This will allow us to keep track of the strength of the unknown mental phenomena caused by the Pandoran presence, which appear to increase in severity as they expand their grip on our world. As the ODI increases, more humans will experience nightmares, hallucinations, detached from reality, and eventually brain seizures and death. We have estimated a tipping point for ODI beyond which the human race cannot be saved. Now, what happens right now is... We're going to see this bar up here, which is the index. Safe havens to slow down progress or destroy Pandoran bases to reverse it. So when this hits 100%, as far as I understand it, which it says here, we're dead. That's it. Game over. One of the last things that Geronimo Simes III worked on before leaving Phoenix Point was the Onirium Delirium Index, an attempt to quantify the unexplained mental influence of the Pandorans. He feared the frequent reports of his strange nightmares and hallucinations might be attributable att attributable to something more than physiological trauma, perhaps some form of telepathic attack. That would make sense. Under different circumstances, the idea might have seemed fanciful, but even Phoenix Project operatives have reported similar phenomena. We should complete this research. Understood. So, now, there is... Um, I don't know if there's a follow-up place. I think right now this is the only... Find Phoenix Base Southern Europe. Oh, find Phoenix Base Southern Europe. Oh, okay. Hang on a second. Southern Europe. So there is another Phoenix Base. And the Symes Retreat. Okay, I didn't see that. I knew we had the Symes Retreat as a main objective, but find Phoenix Base Southern Europe. That is interesting. That implies that there is one of these is actually a... Another base, another Phoenix base. That would be awesome. So let's check this guy out and let's explore him. And then we do up here, we're going to do an area scan probably here. We're going to start here and then go over here for the area scan. Construction complete. All right, what is that? An idol king, Shiria. Shiria is a friendly, cultural, diverse haven which has taken in many refugees over the last decade. Although it remains somewhat isolationists uh, when it comes to the bigger factions, its founder is uh, the thoughtful and charismatic Ulysses, Jay Black, the former owner of a global cybernetic company who was out ousted after a hostile takeover by Vanadium Incorporated. You better not trust West, that lying sack of Pandoran slime. He tells our operatives, honestly, I don't even think he took my company away from, from me because of the actual cybernetics. It's all part of his great plan, I guess. But honestly, who gives a crap about his plan? Okay. Anyway, he continues. What I want from you people is go to the Synedrian's research lab at these coordinates, retrieve the equipment on this list and bring it all to me for a nice reward. No questions asked. You're up for that. Well, 
I'm not yet ready to start war with a faction. And as far as I understand this now, I could be wrong because I don't know. The way I understand this is this could potentially ask us to raid the Synedrian Haven or that part of the base of the ha of a haven he's going to tell us about. So I'm not going to do this right now, especially I have no idea who this is. And I'm not going to risk a good standing with a faction because of some stranger I just met. Unfortunately, he says, shaking his head. But then I'm not sure I'd take such a mission from a stranger either. Still, I had to try. No hard feelings. Exactly. So what is this? This is an independent state. This is amazing. I didn't think they would have such a thing as an independent haven. And we can't raid his haven, though. And that's interesting. Increase the starvation rate and the risk of Pandoran attack. The, the missed status is free. That is very, very interesting. Okay. So up here, we're still at 0%. But let's head out here and see if there's anybody else currently making any moves. And our research is nearly done. Manufacturing Banshee Helmet is nearly finished as well. Um, is that the second helmet? Hang on a second. Did we already finish one of the helmets? Let me go to the personnel and let me check out this guy. Okay. No, it's not finished. Okay. Let's explore. And here we go now. Excellent. Disciples of Anu. The Disciples of Anu are a syncretic religion formed out of several previous cults. The Children of the Black Tide, the Holy Disciples of the Xenoglossic Doctrine, and the Order of Anu. By the mess messianic figure known only as the Exalted. She forged the disp desp disparate elements of the cultists into a unified belief system built around her vision of Anu, the dead god. The disciples of Anu leadership follows a strict hierarchy and access to the exalted is reserved only for the most faithful. Should we seek out an alliance with her, we would first have to gain the approval of her servants, the apostle to the Ankh born, the keeper of the threshold, the voiceless Hierophant, the blind legate, the shadowed hierarch, and finally the synod of yearning. Oh my balls, that's like a separate game altogether. The latter said to be a compound being of some kind effectively runs the day-to-day -day operations of the disciples. All right, we got 200 food. I'm okay with that, but these guys sound seriously messed up. It would be interesting to be allied with them. The disciples of Anu of. were a mystery. Where others saw <laughs> devastation, they saw hope. Where others saw the end of the world, they saw a new beginning. Their leader called herself the Exalted, and she claimed to believe in humanity. She preached that the human soul was perfect that the root of our problems was our insufficient evolution. The Pandora virus was a threat, but it was also an opportunity to change ourselves, to become better humans, to mutate. We knew that humanity needed to adapt. There was no other way to survive. The disciples offered a solution, but what was their end game? There was something beyond their hierarchies and their rituals. The exalted had a secret. Ah, what is that secret? That's the important question here. Now, I can see absolutely where people come from saying like, hey, this is the next step. We're going to have to embrace it. You know, I, I do understand that. I wouldn't be agreeing to that myself, but I understand it. So let's finish the exploration here. What do we have? Oh, okay. So we have another haven here. Do we have... I don't think there's a person here. Haven info. Yeah, this is what I think we should have done. Could have done for the other guy. Rate something. But I don't think we should risk that. Now, um, we still can get the assault class over here. But I don't really think we should do that yet. Okay, let's go over here and initiate another scan. Okay, area scan. There we go. Now... Explore. Trade protocols and the Banshee Helmet. We have one Banshee Helmet finish, I think. So if we go to our personnel and we go to Manticore. If we go to Armor All, I think we can swap out this. Now, we get, le we get a reduction in Armor, but we get an increase in accuracy and perception, which I think is very important. So I think we're all going to have a helmet like that. I think. <laughs> because it, it just makes sense. We lost a little bit of armor. I mean, in his case, we lost actually um, 
well, only 27. So, yeah, 13 armor. We lost some armor. End of story. But I think it definitely is worth it, especially for the accuracy and the perception. Now, when it comes to the chest, um, what do we have here? Accuracy, stealth, perception zero. Perception zero. So I think the helmet is the best piece because it gives you the extra perception, which is obviously really important. So, yeah, I can't wait to get the other guys the helmets, uh, the headpiece as well. Now, let's explore this and see what we're going to get. We now also make the plus for food, Dead Town Exploration Site. An abandoned town, a remnant of the old world, the kind of place where children grew up, went to school, got jobs and grew old. A search of the buildings is like picking over the dead, but needs must. We might find some things we can use. I don't think we have a choice, so search the area. A small cache of resources has been found, materials 160 and food 60, no tech though. Okay, so one of these is going to be a base. So I would say let's check out this area here before we move over there. It would be good to find a second base. Haven trade protocols. Excellent. We now can trade resources with havens. So we can now trade food, which we have in excess, for potentially tech, which would be awesome. We have established a series of diplomatic protocols for trading with havens. While many settlements may have needs that we could meet, the sad truth is that in today's atmosphere of fear and paranoia, we will have to establish good relations with havens leadership and show that you, we are not potential swindlers or raiders before they will consider engaging in trade with us. So I'm assuming if we go to the diplomacy screen, we need to be a certain level of friendly. All right. Okay, look at this. They're actually... The Sinedrians are unfriendly with... No, hang on a second. Sabotage Sinedrians. Yeah. So the Anu are not happy with the Sinedrians. And wow, these guys are really unfriendly with... Um, their attitude towards the disciples of Anu, yeah. So the Anu are not really welcomed. So we're not going to do any sabotage here. We're not. We're not going to get involved in this just yet. I don't know. At some point, we're going to have to pick. Okay, so I think let's do them in the order that they came in. There we go. And can we build another research facility? How much was the research facility to build a second one? Sorry, if we go here. Oh, we can actually do this now. Look at that. Research lab. 200 tech, 300. I think we should do that. We definitely should do it. But then again, I'm not sure how short we're going to sell ourselves on the tech for a new armor. So if we're going to get a new set of armor, that is eight for the helmet. Let's just check quickly how much it costs. Actually, 912. Okay, so either way, ooh, 33 if we get another heavy. So 50 might not be enough. So let's just, n let's not craft it just yet. Okay, let's finish the exploration here. Energy is eternal delight. Eight, axi. Silent T, potentially, Axi. Eric Logan Hughes is the leader of an independent haven called Axe. A soft-spoken intellectual man with a degree in urban planning, he approaches life in the post-apocalypse apocalypse as a technic technical rather than a moral problem. It's all a matter of preparation, he says. Planning, it's not really the Pandova Pandora virus that destroyed the world, you know. Between nationalist author authoritarianism and neoliberal dogmatism, we simply didn't have the tools to defend ourselves as a species. It was a matter of system failure. But how then do we build a new system? Here at Axe, we understand that the foundation of a functional system is energy. Without sustainable, reliable energy sources, there is no future. Okay. Geothermal and hydro are more pers my personal favorites, of course. Hugh says with a smile, but we have to plan further ahead than that. To that end, we were developing a complete new approach to energy generation, something truly radical. Until someone stole all of my research, an unknown group masquerading as a member of the Cenerians disabled our defenses and pillaged our lab. We managed to track them to their base, but we don't have the resources to launch a raid. Can you help us? Again... That is all hearsay. Maybe he needs something from them to complete what he's working on, but it's not actually his. 
So right now we're going to refuse the mission. I'm used to people ignoring me when I start talking about energy, he says, because it seems so intangible, even though it's the core of everything we do. But I had hoped that the Phoenix Project would have a little more insight. Well, you know, you're just a random person, really. That's the thing. And you don't seem to matter a lot in my diplomatic thing. So I suppose I still could do the mission later? Show information order? Oh, and available missions. Haven info. So they, I can still do the mission, potentially? I don't know. I have no idea. Maybe not. Maybe there was a one-time offer. Who knows? Let's move into the red. Excellent. One of the helmets is ready as well. Yes. Oh, warning. Scavenging missions are much more dangerous within a mist zone. Should we dare? Should we dare? I think we should. I think we should. All right, let's get geared up and I think then we're good to go. I'm just thinking another Banshee helmet is ready in 16 hours. So if we move over here first, explore this area here, maybe that's the base. Ooh, stop enemy invasion at Kasalu. Okay, that actually sounds like something really awesome. So maybe we do the scavenging mission, then go over here to heal and then head over here. We see how it goes because the disciples of Anu are fighting the uh, Pandorans right now. And the funny thing is, they're the ones embracing it, so shouldn't they have no problem, uh, well, talking to them, saying, hey, we're embracing you. <laughs> but um, let's finish the exploration here and see how it goes. The place is death, exploration site. Our operatives have located an abandoned camp, previously used by a local paramilitary organization. During the warning days or the warning days of World War III, dozens of socially undesirable people were executed here. It appears to have previously been used as a shelter, but the doors to the main building have been ripped off by the hinges and skeletons litter the corridors. We searched the site. Yes, we got some tech. All available resources have been recovered. This place deserves no further attention. Seeing that we got 50 tech now, I think we should do a research um, lab in here. Yes, let's build a research lab. It takes four days, and then our research will go through the roof. End of story. We have 100 tech, which will definitely be enough for now what we want to do. I think that would be good, and that should get our research going really, really fast. Now, the problem with these guys here is that it seems like the Pandorans are winning. Um, energy generation, defend, um, food production research center, and other special. We could defend them. Oh, is that how it works, is it? Okay. Okay, I think we're going to have to do this first. All right, let's move. Okay. Attitude change on victory. 10, 20, minus one, minus one. Okay, that's fine. I'm more worried about if I could actually do it. Intervene to eliminate the threat. Protecting the Haven's key structures. If you're successful, you will receive a reward from the Haven. That is very tempting. But seven attacking strength. I don't know. Does that mean seven aliens? Or does that mean seven... Is like a difficulty level. Defending strands four. I'm not sure. I mean, can we wait a little bit until my helmet is done? Let's see. Okay, the red is winning. The red is winning. It's still winning. Let's see if we can finish our helmet and then go in. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Excellent. Helmet is done. Beautiful. Okay, let's go into the personnel. Let's go into here. Let's put our helmet on. There we go. Excellent. And let's go. Okay, I think we're ready. Um, I have already done our equipment uh, in advance. Actually, sorry. Um, there we go. Everything is done. We have two, one. We have no healing on our sniper though, which is okay. And no healing on our heavy, which is okay as well because we have two grenades. We could theoretically move one of the grenades off and put one healing in. I think that actually might be better just in case he gets damaged. Okay, and here we go. Excellent, okay, so everybody has ammo, healing. Excellent, let's go. 
Okay, here we go. Now, I have... Um, we, we did a lot of managing and exploring zones, but that's what we have to do in the beginning to get our ranks up, our levels up, you know, and explore the area. So now what do we have here? Let me see. This looks amazing. So let's just zoom out really a lot. Oh, this is actually their base. Wow, look at this. This is actually how it's laid out, isn't it? So we start off on top, which is not bad. And we already can see an alien over there. What do we have here? Okay, it's an Athorn. These guys are not really a big threat, but let's check it out. Um, our heavy can now actually move a little bit more, which is really amazing, which is really, really good. Oh, it's just fantastic. And let's see how our assault is doing. We have, can we already take a shot at this guy? That's amazing. It's quite a distance. Like, I don't think we could make the shot. And it's not really um, in a very good angle. <sighs> we have to defend, isn't it? Key structures protected. So key structures are what? This, this here? Okay, I can see it. This is a key structure. What else is a key structure? It doesn't say four. It just says 100%. So the power station is the key structure. Okay, so Online. this is the downstairs, but I would be very hesitant in moving down, not knowing what is down here. So I think potentially what we could do is get down here and then go back up if it really comes into play. Okay, so... Let's, I would say, stay, put, put a guy here. Okay. Where's the entrance doors? Um, somebody could be coming from here, potentially. And somebody could be coming from the front door here. Now, aliens could spawn here, here here so that oh, wow all the way around actually mainly from behind us and a little bit first so actually from all sides pretty much okay so i think what we might want to do is get our heavy to move all the way over here into a safe spot and have him basically be on the roof making haste there we go, another enemy spotted. Nice, they're coming from over there. Okay, so there's definitely some coming from here. Now this guy, we could set Michael to move all the way over here to keep an eye out on this side. Or Go over here for now, just in case. I don't know which side they're coming from. So why don't we, yeah, let's move here for now. And then we still have a line of sight to the other guys. So we still have a line of sight. It's a very terrible line of sight. But what we can do now is we can Put an overwatch. Oh, hang on. I have to go back up. There we go. I can put an overwatch onto potentially anything coming from that side down here. I'm not so sure. Or put an overwatch over there. I would say put the overwatch here, just in case something comes in. Okay, we put an overwatch here at the doors. We make it a bit wider. A bit wider, actually just in case something comes over there on this side. Okay. 
and um, fish bed is gonna be fine sniper now our sniper I think we should be also going into overwatch mode but a little bit closer a little bit closer and maybe cover the more open area here like this actually we cover the closer area here we go okay okay he's overwatched he has overwatch on there we go there's someone right there very nice okay Ooh. okay i have we could put oh what happened here yes nice disabled the arm and bleeding he's gonna disappear now is he yeah he's gonna disappear but he moved a little bit back so we, we're okay for the moment now we heard a noise down here there we go there's a noise here so i think what we should possibly do is move one of our assault guys we have two assault guys so i have to be careful here let's move yar over here Okay. On my way. I think we're gonna be safe from anything coming from this side. And then overwatch those stairs here. So let's turn this around to see where our overwatch is gonna go exactly. So let's make that very clear that it's coming from here. Like we don't really care if the guy is going into this door but we don't want the guy to come in here and I don't want to go too far out. There we go. So I think this cone here is perfect. Okay. Okay. Now our heavy could come down here and take a shot. Hmm. He doesn't have actually the energy, so I think maybe. Can we currently take a shot? Ready to fire. Let me see what we're looking at here. Oh, this is potentially going to... Nah, this is going to hit anything but... So maybe what we could do is... See how he does with grenades. Let's try this. Oh, it's not far enough. Okay. So let's move a little bit up. Excellent. We don't want to move here. And... Yeah, he's more of a short range anyway. But let's uh, see how far we can throw a grenade now. Taking action. Uh, yeah, a little bit. That's it's still not perfectly enough. Okay. Acquiring target. I think this is much better. Okay, let's, let's, let's do that. Let's see if we can... Oh. I have again everything in the way. We could potentially get a bleed on him. It's very hard to reach any of them. I'm gonna go with an overwatch down here. Um just in case they come closer, I would say. There we go. I'm on overwatch. This is a real painful process here. This is a good shot. This is a good shot. However, I'd rather see if I can take a shot at this guy. <laughs> Let me see. No, we can't really. We could reduce... We could do the legs because that will definitely reduce his moving range. Carapace, head, willpower minus eight. Well, let's go for the head. Let's do it. Okay. Now, our sniper rifle takes three. So we have one action point left, which means we could take a pistol. But I don't know if we can hit any of those guys with a pistol. Okay. 
No, that missed. All right, it was worth a try. Okay, so assault. Let's bring this assault guy over here. Or actually bring him down here. That would actually be a good idea. I think that would be great. If we bring him down here, we get a much clearer shot at any of these guys, I think. Okay. Let's bring him onto the balcony here. On If we do it on this side, we might have this in the way. So let's bring him about here, I would say. I know there's an overwatch, but he's probably going to miss from this distance. Oh, okay. Let's do it. Nice! 80 damage. That is really, really good. I like it. Okay, let's stand by. Let's see how that works. Okay, so he's actually outside. He didn't go through, which is okay. Oh, he's not having the field of vision. Oh. That was a silent shot. Okay. There's where a shot came from. Okay. He's gonna appear again. Nice. Oh, here we go. We have another guy coming in here. <sighs> okay. Now, this is going to get a bit tricky. We have two sides coming in. So what I can do is I can use zero action points and four will points to move. I can't move back up. That is painful. Holy balls. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move up here for zero action points. Okay, now All I need is a clear shot. I'm gonna take a shot to disable, hopefully, the part where he disappears. Oh, very hard to get a shot into that. Maybe we should just throw a grenade. Um, grenade is number three. And if we throw it all the way here, we might actually damage the other guy as well. Disabled head, disabled arm. Oh, nice. Okay. Now, he seems to be here. What we could do now is we could... Um, we could try to take a shot and just blindly shoot right here. Because I think that's where he is, isn't he? Did he go here or did he go here? I think he went here. Okay, let's equip the other grenade, I think. Oh, we didn't give him a second grenade. Okay, Yar doesn't have a second grenade. Okay. Okay, let's leave this for now. And our heavy is going to have to start doing something. So what we might actually do now is bring our heavy down to here. Repositioning, prioritizing speed. Target in sight. Okay, what did you spot? Okay, excellent. That's the other guy, which is actually really good because that means we can use our Okay, let's take out this guy. Oh, come on, that has to be a kill shot. There we go. Excellent. Beautiful. Now, hmm, there's some inventory stuff. Let's see if we can have another shot at anything. I don't think so. Okay. Let's move. Um, they're coming from here, so I think let's move one closer so we're a little bit more covered. 
Okay. And actually, can we make a free move? We can't go back up either. We can make a free move to here. There's a guy coming from over here. So if we make a free move here, we can start fighting these guys as well coming from here and here. So I think maybe we should start coming down. Yeah, let's go here. Okay, let's stay right here. I hope I don't regret taking this mission. Now, we still have a shot here, so I would say, can I use Overwatch? We can. So let's use the Overwatch on this side. With our friend here. There we go. And now we have Darren. A sniper. Okay, Darren, what do you want to do? Hmm. What do you want to do? Do you want to come down one? Ooh. Potentially have something here. If I go down to here... No, I can't reach anything. So, I want to stay on the roof, preferably, though. Okay. Wow. Okay, let's try. Okay, he's bleeding, but we I think we missed. I don't think we, we, we actually hit. And we're out. Okay, let's see. Excellent. Okay, he moved past. We didn't hit him. <gasps> no! Okay, that's okay. That's actually okay. 36 damage, it's okay. The heavy guy is okay. Was it the little guy? Maybe not as much, but he has healing. We can shoot him through the window if we need to. Okay. Yeah, he's bleeding out over there. Okay. Oh, he's 20 bleed. We definitely need to take care of him. We definitely need to care of this guy. Do we have... Okay, we have another guy coming from over there, so I think what we should do is definitely... Okay, let me throw a grenade first. Over here. Let's try this. Yeah, let's do this. Excellent. Okay. He's bleeding. Now let's put him here. And leave him there. Now, our friend here has... Yeah, has somebody come from behind, so we have to be careful. We take, definitely want to take a shot first. Target. Definitely want to take a shot first. The head is already bleeding. So, I think... I don't think we get a kill shot anywhere, but... Definitely a disabled pain chameleon would be amazing. I don't think we can make the shot. <sighs> can we do that with our other guy? Hang on a second. Okay, let's see where we have any shots here. Okay, we can take him out. I'm not really too worried about these guys. I'm more worried about the guys that are inside the building. Okay, so if we go down here, okay. 
there we go disable the torso so he can't disappear anymore which is exactly what i wanted now how many action points do we have left on our sniper zero okay but now yar can finish zooming in our friend okay and we should probably hide right now <laughs> we should actually let's go all the way over here okay we have an, we have two aliens coming from over here they're going to come across so let's head over here someone could come from here though as well okay let's do this and let's go overwatch ah let's see if i can we can actually throw a grenade let's do that there you go disabled the arm heavy bleeding brilliant and we heard someone else over there oh we heard the actual yeah there we go there we go there's somebody coming from behind oh this is gonna hurt oh crap that's michael i think yeah this guy is slowly dying Okay, he's bleeding. He's hiding over there. Oh, he's shooting that. Of course he is, yeah. We just have to make sure that survives. Excellent. He overwatched an end turn. Brilliant. Okay, so these guys I'm not too concerned about. <sighs> okay. Definitely have to heal. Um five by five. What can I do with my sniper? Can I get a clear line of sight into this guy? I have to try. I'm going. I know, I know, I know. He is. Oh. Enemy spotted. What happened? Oh, this is this guy. Yeah, but I wanted to. Oh, now I can't move over there. It's really annoying. Okay, let's do this. Come on, kill shot. There is a kill shot there somewhere. I saw it. I saw it. There we go. There's a kill shot here somewhere. Just have to be more precise. There we go. Yes. Excellent. Now. The action point cost of the next shot with a proficient weapon is reduced by one and the accuracy is increased by 25. Does that mean we have zero action points? Does that mean we get a free shot with a pistol? I wonder. Oh, we can't aim at anybody anyway. Okay, we have two people coming here. Um, all right. Okay, let's take a shot. How many ammunitions do we have left? Let's have a look. How many bullets do we have left? 24. Okay, we're doing okay. We're doing okay. Can we take a All shot at this guy? Is a clear shot. Succeeded. 
did it. <sighs> Excellent. Okay, that's brilliant. That was brilliant. Let's do it again. I think there's a kill shot here. Oh, man. Okay, is he going to bleed to death or what? So I'm going to have to look at this now. Hang on a second. So he is bleeding 10. What does he have left? He has still a machine gun left. He's bleeding for 10. He has 40 health left. So, yeah, that's still a lot of health. I would say... If I can get the heavy out... If I can get the heavy out to here... Moving to position. Oh, he had an aim. Yes. One less oh, about. beautiful. Because what I want to do now is I want to do Overwatch on this guy here. So I want to do Overwatch in case this other guy tries to come around the corner. So let me see something here for a second. Let's go inventory. We still have a heal available to us. Nah, let's do the overwatch. Okay. Overwatch this corner here. Okay, these guys will come in anyway, but I don't think they're going to directly be able to get in there right now and hurt us. All right. This is a very complicated mission because we're playing on hardest difficulty as well. So, oh, look at this. How can he sneak around the corner? Yes. Equipment damaged. Okay, we got 43 damage. That's okay. He goes invisible, he's over there, so we take the heavy and just take a shot. So what is he gonna do? Oh, he's gonna attack this here. We're gonna have to go around and shoot him in the face now. Oh, man, we have to protect this. Okay. Let's heal. Okay, now we have a free move. We have a free move. Do we need the free move yet? No, I don't think so. It only goes to here. Mm. Okay, let's not use the free move yet. Okay. Five by five. Let's use our free move to here. Excellent. Now, how clear of a shot do we have? Find aim. Mm, not really. Oh, man. Should we risk it? Yes. Okay, good, good, good. That means we should probably be okay right now. Let's um, move back a little bit. Actually, we still have a free shot, so let's um, go Overwatch, I would say. Right here. Okay, where's our heavy? Here we go, here's our heavy. What we can do with our heavy now is we move here and we just, we just take a shot. That's all we're going to do. We're going to take a shot right here. A free shot. Because this here, not him, <laughs> this here is where the alien could be. Okay. Overwatch into here 
Do we have a grenade left? No. But we should reload. Okay. Let's reload. And let's... Take the free move to over here where these guys are going to be coming from. Okay. Okay, sniper guy, sniper guy, sniper guy. Can you go up anywhere? And you move. No, you can't. Okay. So I would say for the sniper guy, let's go over here. And stay put. Okay, he died, I think, because he was bleeding to death. There we go. Zero damage. I like it. I like it. That was beautiful. I'm Shut sorry. <sighs> well, you're gonna die. Okay, that was good. I'm feeling good about myself today. Okay, we have one more guy out here somewhere. So let's see if we can get a look at him. Let's see if we can make our free move to somewhere like here. And then do our proper move. Out here. Looks dangerous. Okay, I see nothing. So let's do overwatch right here. Sniper overwatch right here. I don't know if that makes sense. Actually, let's go all the way with our sniper. Let's roll. Um, overwatch over here. Just in case somebody's coming from the side. There we go. There he is. That's okay, it's not destroyed. I don't even think he hit it, actually. I think he hit a barrier. Brilliant, okay. Let's see if we can get our sniper. No, we can't get our sniper in there. Brilliant. Right in the torso. Max hit points minus minus 40. There we go. But we can't disable it. It's actually too strong for us. Um, so let's go for the legs. Not a kill. Ah, not disabled. Okay. <sighs> let's go for it. Oh, that's actually pretty spot on. Let's just fire it. Excellent. Is that it? <gasps> There's still someone alive. No way. Okay. Okay, that is really creepy. How is there someone still alive? Double time. There we go. All right, here he is. Um, very good. Um, bup, 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 grenade. Can we throw it? No. Can we move a little bit further and then throw it? Maybe. I'm going. Come on, go. What happened? Okay, I thought the game crashed. Okay. Oh. 
Nice, he will bleed to death now in the next round. Very good, I like it. Moving you all the way over here. Let's go. Okay, he's taking a shot, is he? Oh, man! Damage! Oh! Terrible. Okay, so let's see, actually, who is close by that needs the kill. So if we're gonna look at our... If we're gonna look at the info of our soldier... Um, he's only level 2, so it would be good if Fishbed gets the kill. But I don't think Fishbed can get the kill. I don't think that would be possible. Yeah, he can't shoot through the wall, so... Let's see if Yar can get the kill. No, I don't think so. I don't think anybody can actually get the kill there, except for our sniper, potentially. Okay. Let's move here. And I don't like pistols. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> so we're going to try to use the sniper rifle, to be honest. Because it should be a no-brainer. There we go. Hostile down. And that hopefully was the last one. Yes. Wow, that was actually quite a complex mission. I really thought we were going to die big time. But look at that. It's a pity Yar didn't get that kill, because Yar would have been level 3 then as well. <sighs> okay, 17%. At least it didn't blow up. Okay, look what we got. We got all these rewards, which is brilliant. Oh, actually, look at that. We got some Acolyte Helmet, which is Light Armor for Perception. That is interesting. It's an, an Anu Assault Helmet. That is really good. But it, it's still, we have better because we have the Banshee, which has accuracy and stealth. And I think the Banshee has 14 armor or something. There's only four difference. At a cost of accuracy and stealth, I don't know. But look at that. Um, Nurgle's Wrath Magazine. Magazine. So we got loads of magazines. Um, oh, we got an Iron Fury gun, actually. A Yerisho gun. Very good. A Goss gun. You have successfully defeated all hostile forces. The leader of the Havens are grateful for your help. So we got loads of bonus, and we got a little bit of hate from the other ones. But I think defending Havens overall is always more beneficial. The first initiation. A mysterious being known as the Apostle to the Onsborn, Servant of the Exalted, has passed by our base. Leaving the following message. What is the nature of a human being? Can we change? Is the fault in our souls, where it may never be reached? Or is it in these broken bodies of ours? Perhaps the Phoenix Project can be a vessel of change. It is not up to this humble apostle to make such a decision. But I wish you well. May, our, may your actions please the keeper of the threshold. He will seek you out when you have shown your worth. You are being very freaky right now. It looks like we've started working our way up the hierarchy of the disciples. Hey, we only defended their base because we're not assets. Okay, so we definitely have to replenish all. Um, Odin grenade added to manufacturing queue. Does that mean only one? Let's see. Yeah, only one. We 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 threw loads of grenades. I mean, we definitely have to replenish like more than just the one. So yeah, make five grenades, definitely. Definitely, definitely. Okay. What is our research now? Reverse engineering the Iron Fury. It requires one gun. Actually, this is amazing. We should definitely queue this up as the next thing after the autopsy. And then we have the Pandoran colonies. The underground breeding sites of the Pandorans must form a crucial part of their bio biology and should be investigated as soon as possible. Oh. I can't... Requirements not met. 
Huh, I'm really confused. Oh, we don't, we can't start this because it needs one out of two items. It needs two items. We only have one, so we can't really research that. Okay, the Iron Fury handgun might be better than what I have, but this is interesting. So let's go to the personnel. Let's um, reload and put a replacement ammo into our. I oh, know we're over encumbered now. Um. Yeah, sure. Okay. Yeah, we definitely need to heal up. Um, training. So let's see what we have here. So he gets. He's getting really, really good. We just need a little bit more strength, I think. One willpower. Two speed. And what do we have here? Yes, we definitely want the war cry. And now another strength or speed? I would say speed. Yeah, perfect. Excellent. What is this? Biochemist. All attacks that damage a target also inflict one viral damage per bullet. What is a viral damage? That is interesting. We might actually take that next time. It means we can put a dot on something. So now if we go to the equipment for him, we actually can put an extra piece of ammunition in here. Oh, we're still over encumbered. 15 out of 15. Okay, so we get, okay, for every two points, I think, in strength. Yeah, for so that's how it works. For every even number of strength, we get one encumbrance. I think that's how it works. All right, so if we go up one more, we can carry more, but we don't need to do that right now. Okay, so let's see who else leveled up. Uh, Michael leveled up to level three. Return fire, definitely get return fire. Now get definitely a will point, uh, willpower, and I would say two into speed. Let's keep actually let's keep those even numbers because I have a feeling we have to keep even numbers except for willpower because willpower only has a direct effect on willpower points, which e equals to what we have here. But this whole strength thing seems a bit odd. So, and that might be the same with speed. So we might keep these in even numbers. So let's put an even number here and one more point in willpower. Yes, excellent. Okay, and who else? Nobody else leveled up, no. Yeah, I was so close. Let's see how far we are. Four days construction. Okay. I think we're doing well. Destroy the Pandoran colony. Oh, look at this. There's a Pandoran nest. Operating range 1,200 kilometers. Whoa. No, we have to move back first and heal. That is interesting. Active Pandoran structure. What? Is that the same thing? Pandoran nest? Oh, my balls. I think we're going to have to investigate this. Okay, let's heal first. If we can. I hope we're not going to get attacked. Oh, what is happening? This new Jericho neural tech we've been hearing about. It sounds like a pretty cool technology, really. But has anyone thought about how easily it could be abused by, uh, I don't know, an autocratic leader with delusions of grandeur? So basically, they are worried that the Jericho guys are going to misuse their tech for power, it seems. And, well, I don't think so, because I think the Jericho guys, the way they come, they, the way they were explained to us, they literally just want to get rid of the aliens from the planet. They didn't seem like they want to control the world. Instead, they they genuinely just look like they want to get rid of the aliens. Uh, to fix the deeper problems of human biology, near a society of laws and principles. Um... But it is, it is a genuine possibility, absolutely. So I can't disagree with him. Um, it is, isn't it? Sometimes I miss the days when such questions were just science fiction. Okay. But I guess sooner or later the future arrives and then... Okay, so... The more so, the oh. disciples of Anu invest into this mutation tech, the further away they will move from what New Jericho considers humanity. This is not a threat, but a statement. Okay. 
There is still time to look to reason, not superstition, for solutions. To seek answers in human will, instead of submission to the alien. But that time is running out. So that's a message from Tobias West uh, to the public. So everybody heard that, and obviously the disciples of Anu are like, dude, what the hell? So, but you see, we're trying to... We're going to take sides eventually, I suppose. And I think so far, we just look best with... Um, Sinedrians, but we are friendly with Anu purely for reasons of not wanting their base to be overrun. Did, we didn't want that to happen, and it helped us as well, actually. So let's see, is there actually any talent out here? So what can we trade with these guys? So if we look at that, we can trade nine food for two tech. I mean, we have a lot of food, so send an aircraft to this haven to conduct trade. We could potentially do that because we do need tech points, but we still need to heal. So let's heal up. Okay, we need to heal a little bit more. We got seriously damaged here. Okay. Scan complete. All right, we're doing well. And we healed up now. Um, let's see, our research is nearly done. Our manufacturing is done. Research there we go. Um, Arthron Autopsy. Ooh, new items for manufacturing available. A grenade launcher. Okay, grenade launcher does 60 damage. Four shred. Effective range 25. Blast radius 3.5. So that could actually be something for our heavy. Or if we get a second heavy to be for that. Summary. All limitations of this creature type are associated with the first missed incursions in 2029 the vast populations that were compelled to walk zombie like into the sea under the influence of the mist have been merged somehow with the sea creature dna to create these frankenstein monsters now we're seeing increasing numbers of athrons on land the hypoth hypothesis is that land-based gestation structures are breeding Arthrons under cover of the new mist outbreak. The latest Arthron mutations have little humanity left in them and they are considerably more dangerous to civilian populations. The longer term danger is that we can expect their evolution to continue at a rapid pace. Genetic origins, 25% arthropod, 15% human and 60% unknown. Function, combat, subhuman intelligence allows use of melded weapons. Reproduction, cloned and mutated. Uh, ancillary objective, locate nests. Offensive mutations, claw, melded gun, organic grenade launcher, poison spit. Defensive mutations, bony carapace, bony shield. Mobile agility mutations are known to have high jump ability. Oh, okay. And weaknesses, upper arms can easily be disabled, unable to climb. Well, that is very interesting. So let's see what we research next. Yeah, reverse engineering this. That is good. We still can't do anything with that. I don't know what the requirement is. I assume the requirement for this is that we actually deal with... Okay, we have no no manufacturing queue, which is okay. Let me see. Hell Cannon, Hell Cannon Magazine. There, the Goliath. So we can actually now... This is the new items. So the Hell Cannon does 180 damage, though. Effective range 17... 25 so this is like a going across the map nearly kind of thing i'm not so sure yeah i don't think we need to craft that right now this very second so we got we're okay so i think what we should do we should definitely try to initiate trade so i would say we're gonna leave this here and um, the episodes usually will be quite long because I think we have to do a mission, an uh, important mission, which, which this one was, and um, also do all the other things in between. So let me know what you think in the comments. This will be for the next episode. I think we're going to do the scavenging side mission first. Then we're going to need to find another haven. So we're going to do probably scavenging mission, then another one or two research explorations because we need to find soldiers. And then we're going to attack the Pandora Nest. Operating range 1,200 kilometers. I'm a bit worried about this, but I want to know what this is about. And we're definitely going to do the trade route as well. Anyway, I'm going to leave this here. 
I'm really enjoying this. This is really, really nice and a lot of fun. I don't know how much fun it is for you guys to watch, but let me know in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, remember to kick that like button in the balls, and I hope to see you guys in the next video. And if you're new to the channel and you like what you see, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys next time. Until then, as always, feel Spaß and happy gaming.